hello students so now we are going to start with a new method in which we will see how to solve the given higher order differential equation when your right hand side is x into some function of x it means x into v now guys if we have right hand side as x into v where v is a function of x there are set of rules which we have to follow to get the answer or the solution of the given higher order differential equation. So let's see how to do that. So here are the steps. So you can see that whenever we have right hand side as x into v, where v is some function of x, like trigonometric function, exponential function, or some other function of x, we have to follow two steps. So using these two steps, we can get solution of any higher order differential equation which is having right hand side as x into some function of x. So guys, the step number one is we have to find out the complementary function. So to get the complementary function, we have to convert that given differential equation in form of operator d where d is d upon dx. Now once you convert it in terms of operator d, you can get a function of d. From that function of d, equate it to 0 and you can get the auxiliary equation. Using the auxiliary equation or solving the auxiliary equation, you get the roots of the auxiliary equation and from there you can get the complementary function. So that is the step number 1. Now, what is step number 2? In step number 2, we will find out the particular integral. Now guys, to find out the particular integral, here we have a formula and we have to apply this formula to get the particular integral if your right hand side is x into some function of x or x into v. So what is the formula? So it is 1 upon the function of d into x into v. So x into v is your right hand side. Now guys, whenever we get right hand side is like this, the formula is x minus f dash of d upon f of d. It means the derivative of that function of d. Then Close the bracket and outside the bracket, we write 1 upon function of d into v. It means we don't have to apply this function of d on x and v. We will just apply it on v after applying this formula. So, we'll apply this function of d on v. v is nothing but some function of x. We'll get some answer. We'll multiply this bracket with that answer. And again, we will apply this operator on that answer and by doing this we can get the value of particular integral so guys these are the two steps after that we will add this complementary function with particular integral and we can get final solution of the higher order differential equation when right hand side is x into function of x or x into v so i'm sure that you understood this method so in the coming videos i'm going to solve the numericals which are based on this concept and we'll see how to get this solution by applying these steps. So guys keep watching videos on Ikeda. You can subscribe to Ikeda channel and press on the bell icon. Then you can get the updates about the new videos that we are posting every day. Also you can tell to your friends to like and subscribe to Ikeda channel so that they can also get updates about Ikeda videos and they can learn through Ikeda. Thank you very much.